everything we see people think only the white person did it everything we see see an airplane oh a white person do it see an mri machine in the hospital you see a computer they think it's only a white person can do it but you are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide You are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide. You are looking at him, and he's not white, he's black just like you. He happens to be from Ghana. But I'm not limited by what I've been told in my schools growing up and all of that. I'm limited by what I think I can do. So I want you all to think yourself. That you can do anything that any person, whether Chinese, Indian, white, whatever they've done, you can do it. I designed the bullet train, the fast train for DRC, DR Congo. They didn't ask me, but I thought that's what's needed to awaken the giant in Africa. Therefore, my people are in DR Congo. Would the president, Chikedi, presented my design of the Buddha train and it's called Lumumba Express. Say so all of you say Lumumba. 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 Lumumba Express. And that's TJV Lumumba, the high speed train from Lumumba, going from Kinshasa all the way to the border. So that's very important. That's how you are working the giant in Africa. That's how you do it. That's Thank very you. important. All of you, all of you here, you should do the same thing. Don't yes. wait to be told. Don't wait to be told. Okay? Because in 1985, when they were having problems in, in moving the technology of laser fiber optics from the laboratory scale to industry, they called MIT, and MIT sent me calling glass room. You know, some problem they've been trying to solve for 15 years. It took me one year to solve it, to move it from the lab to industry. That's why I wrote, I wrote the book, because I know that what a person, a white person can do, I can do it too. But what does it take to awaken the giant in Africa? First of all, talk technology experts like Bill Gates they plan and execute let's say for me Microsoft right like Apple computer founder Steve Jobs they plan and execute they don't ask anybody oh should I form an Apple computer no God has given the talent so they go ahead and do make it happen for example I wasn't asked Serious. You know when they say the great minds of the 21st century? That's our responsibility. That means I got to support the proofs for the awakening of the giants in Africa. After and the Africa Union 23 agenda, as I'm discussing with President Chiquet of the Alcum, should be supported by these bullet trains across in Africa. Because, you know, it cannot just take the ship and put it in the port. The gap is actually going from the port to the inland. But the roads are bad. You put something on the road, go from here to Burkina, it may spoil, it does fruits. If that's fit, it may spoil. You know? And so we gotta put this proposals that will transform Africa in place where we are using bullet trains and we are using fast airplanes. The airplanes will have cold storage. So if I put my fish and stuff in it, it will get to the other side. Dr. Thomas Mensah, a world-renowned inventor with seven U.S. and worldwide patents in fiber optics over a period of six years, was born in 1950 in Kumasi, Ghana. He won the French Government Fellowship in 1974 to do graduate studies in chemical engineering at Montpellier University, France. 
After receiving his undergraduate degree in the same field from UST Kumasi 1970-1974, prior to his undergraduate work, Dr. Mesa attended Wesley College Practice School, Kumasi and Adisade College, Cape Coast. Dr. Mesa, who is French in French, won the National French Competition in Ghana, both at the O Levels 1968 and A Levels 1970, aired at Accra. He holds PhD in Chemical Engineering from Montpellier University 1978 and a Certificate in Modeling of Chemical Processes from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology 1977. He has had high-level engineering position in U.S. industry first at Air Productions and Chemicals 1980-1983, then Corning Glass Works in Fiber Optics Research Surveillance Park, New York 1983 and 1986, where he built the fastest fiber optics draw and coating process 50 meters per second. He owed four percent for his efforts. He joined AT and T Bell Laboratories in 1986 and led the program to develop fiber optics rule used in the guided missile program. This effort led to the development of a system that was successfully deployed at missile speed up to March 1, the speed of sound. He received three US patents on this technology. Dr. Mensah also founded the iTech Sound Supercon technology in North Cruz that specialized in aerospace and communication products. His firm focuses on advanced structural materials development for supersonic US fighter aircraft like the F-22, the fastest jet in the world. On the international level, Dr. Mensah is a founding member of the Emerging Technologies Area for the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. He is the first and only black person to serve as the National Chairman of the Materials and Engineering Science Division of the ACHE. He has edited two book volumes for ACHE, namely Fiber Optics Engineering 1987 and Superconducting Engineering 1992. Dr. Mensah was elected to serve as a director and board member of the Council of Directors of the Preeminent Engineering Organization from 1987 to 1990. As a world expert in the field of advanced materials, Dr. Mensah has worked on specialized projects for NASA, superconductors for space communications, the U.S. Army, Smart Munitions Picanity Arsenal, and U.S. Department of Energy, Fiber Octet Sensor for Highway Traffic Monitoring. Dr. Mensah has additional patents pending in some of these areas. Dr. Mensah has recently led a team in the design and commissioning of one of the world's most advanced scalable eye vacuum, radio frequency sputtering system used for fabricating computer chips and other electronic products. Dr. Mensah has other ventures in the U.S. aimed at improving technology transfer to developing nations and enhancing trade such as the Africa Encommerce.com Corporation, as well as web-based training programs aimed at producing a competitive workforce for the 21st century using the Internet platform.